Yo, what's going on guys? Camille here. So we've got the current yellow banner going on right now. In the future, in the next version, we're probably gonna get a Kazuha rerun. Both of these characters are like um, meta characters, you can say. They're pretty valuable characters and a lot of people like always swear like you gotta have yellow on your account or you gotta have Kazuha or something like that. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people are kind of like confused, especially if they can only wish for one character. Should I wait for Kazuha or should I just go for yellow? right now in this video i'm gonna be helping you guys out with that as usual in these comparison videos i will list both their pros and cons and then finally i'm gonna tell you my final opinion and obviously i just want to say guys like this game is not like based on meta at all it's just based on fun so at the end of the day if you're really like one of them then you should probably go for this character if you like yelling a lot then just go for her if you like kazuha same thing just go for him enjoyment is just much more important and you can probably clear content like a bit and stuff like that with other characters so yeah don't like sweat it this video is just like for people who don't have any preference and they just want the best character for their accounts we're gonna take a look at both of them and try to see who is the best meta so yeah without further ado please don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel and let's begin all right, so starting off with Kazuha's pros, these are the good things about Kazuha. So the first thing is, is one of the best, if not the best support in the game right now. I mean, some people might argue if it's the best, but he's definitely at least like top two or three supports in the game right now. So yeah, Kazuha is going to give you a lot of elemental damage bonus. He's also going to give you crowd control and he's going to give you some of his own damage. He's also a Nemo, so you can swirl and shred the resistance with the Verdescent, which is very huge. I mean, Kazuha right now can literally make teams like he is a support yes but he can he's the base of some teams some of the best teams in the game like Raiden and Kazuha for example and a lot of other teams second pro about Kazuha is that he's very versatile I mean think about any team on the game who relies on elemental damage like Pyro, Hydro, Electro or Cryo any elemental team Kazuha is gonna be a very very good support in and let's be honest like these are the best teams on the game right now almost all of the top teams on the game deal elemental damage so so for all of these, Kazuha is going to be a very good support too. Also, think about all of the incoming characters that are going to come out that are going to be either Pyro, Cryo, um, Electro, or Hydro. If any character is going to be coming out with these elements, then Kazuha is probably going to be a very good support for them. So not only he's a very, very good support, he's also very versatile. Third pro about Kazuha is that he's very easy to build. I mean, you just need to stack Elemental Mastery and choose a weapon, get some ER, and that's it. There's not really much you need to do with Kazuha you know just upgrade his level so you get um, more strong swirls get a good weapon there are a lot of like four stars that can work on him stack elemental mastery on your sands goblet circle maybe some energy recharge and you're done no need for crit no need for expensive weapons you don't need all of this so yeah that makes Kazuha very free to play friendly so he's a very good support he's very versatile and he's also very easy to build fourth pro about Kazuha is that he's very hard to replace I mean you can argue you can put instead of him like any Anemo support like Sucrose, Venti or whatever but the thing is they do not provide elemental damage bonus which is one of the biggest things that Kazuha provides. So yeah Kazuha can pretty much do everything the other Anemos can do. Maybe not everything obviously but he can do like the basics that they can do and he also provides a lot of elemental damage bonus. Obviously you don't have like um, the best crowd control. Venti's crowd control is definitely superior. Um, He doesn't give you elemental mastery like Sucrose but he can do the basics on top of that he provides very very huge amounts of elemental damage bonus which no other character can do so yeah Kazuha is very hard to replace I mean you can replace him but the value is gonna drop significantly like you're gonna feel it when you replace Kazuha out of a team you're gonna see the damage drop now the last pro or not even really pro but reason to pull for Kazuha is that we don't know when his next rerun is like fam Kazuha came out a year ago think about the characters that came on after Kazuha. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna check this. So we got Ayaka. She came on after Kazuha. She got a rerun. Yoimiya, I don't think she did get a rerun. But the thing is, not many people are asking for Yoimiya. Raiden, she got a rerun. Kokomi, got a rerun. Child, I mean, of course, he got many reruns. Um, Hutao, got a rerun. Yula, got a rerun. Albedo, I 
think um yeah, I mean that's already his rerun. So yeah. Um Ito, he's getting a rerun. Um Shinha, I mean not yet, but she's probably gonna get a rerun soon. Zhao, that's his rerun. Zhong Li, that's his rerun. Ganyu, that's her rerun. And Yai, she just came out. That's the rerun for Raiden. That's the rerun for Gokumi. Ayato, not yet. And that's the rerun for Venti. And that's the rerun for Ayaka rerun for Zhao and now we have Yellen. So yeah pretty much every single character that came on after Kazuha got a rerun except for Kazuha and Yoimiya. And the difference is people are asking for Kazuha like constantly. Not many people are really asking for Yoimiya. I mean I'm pretty sure a lot of people are waiting for a rerun but Kazuha like the community has been asking for him non-stop. But Hoyaverse are like nah fam we ain't doing it. So yeah it's been a year um right now we're probably getting his rerun in like 2.8 so it's gonna be more more than a year until he got a rerun. His next rerun, it's probably gonna be a while. While like Yellen on the other hand, she just came out. You can probably expect her to rerun in a couple of months, like six months or something like that. I mean, I don't know. I'm just speculating, but she's probably gonna get a rerun pretty soon. So yeah, in my opinion, that's another reason to consider wishing for Kazuha. Alright, so now moving on to Kazuha's cons. First con is, and the last con in my opinion, is that he's useless in physical and geo teams. I mean, unless you really build him with like crit and stuff like that, most of his utility is not going to be useful in a physical or geo team. You cannot really swirl, so you cannot give damage bonus, you cannot give the resistance shred. I guess he can still have crowd control, but he's going to lose a lot of his value in physical and geo teams. And I mean, that's calm. It's not like that's a super bad thing. You cannot expect him to work on every single team on the game but yeah if you're main in a physical or geo character then this is a reason not to wish for kazuha yeah honestly that's probably the only con i can think of about kazuha if you got any others then let me know in the comments but yeah for me i think that's his only con now moving on to Yellen pros. First of all, she has a very good damage potential. Um, I'm talking about like um the damage output from herself and Kazuha. She definitely deals more damage than him. I'm not talking about like the what they do for the team as a whole. I'm talking about their damage as their own. If you have like Kazuha by himself and Yellen by herself, then obviously Yellen is going to deal more damage. So Yellen can hold herself more without a very good team. The second pro about Yellen is that she's a very good Hydro enabler. One of the best Hydro Hydro enablers on the game and we all know we need those so some of the best teams on the game are like vaporized teams or maybe electro charge teams so yeah we're gonna need hydro enablers third pro is she can free up shingsho um she can work in a lot of teams that shingsho works in and we all know like some of the best teams on the game require shingsho you only have one shingsho so unfortunately up until now you can only build like one of those teams but right now you can replace him with yellen and one of the teams and you can use shingsho on one of the other teams. For example, you can use the National with Yellen and then Raiden and Shingsho. Just an example, these are like two of the best teams on the game. So you're gonna be able to free up Shingsho and have basically two Shingshows. And that's gonna open up a lot of possibilities for teams for the Abyss. Last pro by Yellen, it's not really like a actual pro, but that's just my opinion about it. It's that Yellen is new. So in my opinion, she's guaranteed she's still gonna be the meta for at least a while. We all know like however just made sure that Yellen is going to be on the same level as Shingsho, they really made sure people are not concerned about like her meta. So I would expect him to keep that up for a while. She's also a new character, so she's guaranteed to be in the meta for at least a while. I mean, again, that's my view about it. It might not be true. However, it might do just fuck all and like throw out Yellen in the future, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Um, Even for Kazuha, I don't really see him being um completely like thrown out, but I can see like in 3.0, for example dendro is gonna be coming out who knows what's gonna happen with that and like the abyss and content is gonna be tailored for that so we might see a little drop in value for kazuha but with yellen she's probably gonna be still fine for at least a while again that's purely my opinion about it i'm not sure about anything all right, so now for Yellen's cons. In my opinion, she only has one and very big con, which is she's replaceable by Shingsho. So yeah, Shingsho, a four star, a lot of people have him. She can be pretty much fully replaced by him. Well, I mean, it's not like Shingsho is a bad character. He's one of the best characters in the game. So there's no shame that she can be replaced by him. But the fact is like, you can just play Shingsho and he's gonna pretty much give you everything that Yellen gives you. I mean, I know in some teams it's not the same, like he can be better than her 
on some teams. She might be better on some very specific teams, but generally speaking, they do the same thing. So if you only need one Hydro Enabler, well, in that case, you're going to be fine with just Xingqiu. You don't need to go for Yellen. Or maybe you don't need like a very strong Hydro Enabler. A lot of teams can get away with Hydro Enablers with like way less Hydro application. So if you have like Mona or Kokomi or whatever, you can use them instead. Alright, so now we're finally moving on to the conclusion. I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on which one you should go for. So the answer is, in my opinion, just simply Kazuha. Um, I mean, that's just my opinion. I explained his bros before, but Kazuha can take a lot of teams to the next level. And again, you don't have any other character who can do that instead of him. You have like Sucro, stuff like that, but they cannot do what Kazuha does. With Yellen though, um, you can replace her with Shengshou. Also, add to the fact, if you don't get Kazuha right now, it's it's probably gonna have to be a while for you to get his next rerun but with Yellen she's probably gonna get a rerun sometime soon not very soon but definitely sooner than Kazuha will but also at the end of the day um it's also gonna depend on your account if you need like two hydro enablers and you know you need like two shing shows on that case you might go for Yellen for example if you already have like a built electro charge team and a built um vaporized team so let's say you have um Hu Tao then Raiden electro charge on that case, you might go for Yellen because you can use Yellen with Hu Tao and then you can use Shang Shou with Raiden. For example, I'm just giving examples. I mean, to be honest, even in that case, I still think you should go for Kazuha. But yeah, what I'm saying is if you think just a second Hydro Enabler is going to take your account to the next level, then you might go for Yellen. Other than that, Kazuha is definitely the better option. And obviously, I repeat, if you like any of them, then just go for it. Either Yellen or Kazuha. If you like one of them, then just go for it. Fun is the most important thing on the game. This is not not like esports or something like that so you don't need to be constantly chasing meta but yeah meta wise my opinion is kazuha so yeah that was the video guys i wish i helped you guys choose tell me your opinions in the comment which ones you're going for don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel and see y'all in the next video peace